Hey folks, welcome back to our channel. Guess what we got for you? We're doing another Eureka crate. Yeah, I don't know what this one is. It always says on the front, but I, I purposely don't pay attention we to it. We don't look at the box too hard. We right. kind of just acknowledge that it's there and then it goes into our studio, home studio room and waits for us. Exactly, it's been sitting on this table for literally weeks now, so. Okay. Um, so I brought back I brought back your little tools. Yay! I Wait, you went into my stash? You went into my fancy toolbox that has one tool and took it? I went into your little micro toolbox and pulled out your little tiny screwdriver. I had this one handy as well, so. Thank you. You're welcome. What if they give me another one? Do you think that I you bet they might. only, like, in the effort to turn a profit, did QEco only make one, one <laughs> screwdriver, and that's all you get as well, we long have, as you are part of this club. Once again, you better enjoy this screwdriver. Once again, I brought regular tools. Where's my hammer? I need the no hammer. hammer. No hammer. No hammer. Once again, this is a glass table. You will not be hammering I things on this table. I will fix it real good. I'm sure you will. Everything can be fixed with a hammer. So you say, but we didn't need the hammer last time. Well, that's okay. Maybe the ukulele doesn't need to be fixed yet. <laughs> Oh my God. I pray that you never have to fix the ukulele with a hammer. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, so what do we got? Let's, uh, I don't know. Let's um, bust this bad boy open. I did. A sharp object. I didn't. What? Well, then you picked the most blunt screwdriver. I did. Why here, here don't you pick the sharp, go. pokey we got screwdriver? It. We got it. We got it. We got it. It's good. What does it say? We are building our own gravity, gravity timer. timer. I don't know what this is. Um, I don't know either, but that's really interesting. A. Um, Assemble a gravity timer and track time with its clockwork countdown. Let's take a Are look. we building a doomsday clock? We've been watching The Watchmen. This looks uh, crazy. So we, I've got doomsday clock on the head. This, okay, wait a minute. I'm building this? Yes. Oh, Lord. It doesn't look any more complicated than the uh, ukulele. You build a whole instrument. This can't be to, that bad. To be fair, I merely sewed the string on and then kind of just said smart aleck. This things. manual is also twice the size of the ukulele. So. Okay. So um, I got my screwdriver. Got your screwdriver. I'm ready to go. Oh, goodness. Let's start unpacking the box, okay. I guess. We'll open it up and see if we have like a parts list. I don't, oh my gosh. I don't even know what a gravity timer is. Um, oh, there's some weights here and some tools. Oh, gosh. In 1956... This is real. I'm excited. In 1956, the pendulum clock used a battery to apply an electric charge to the pendulum, stopping it from slowing down and losing time. Was it ticking it and, it, and the battery is forcing it back? Is that how it worked? I don't know how clocks work. <laughs> <laughs> they use gears and... And Welcome to the Marvelous Adventures of TNG, where we discuss the concept of time. Uh, pendulums mm. and gears and very finely, oh tuned, <laughs> very finely tuned pieces of machinery. That's all I know. Okay. We well, are, you know, it's the thing is, we've, we've talked a lot about being German, and the Germans are known for their clock making skills, like cuckoo, cuckoo clocks, clocks and stuff. So, I mean, come on, our ans we will bring dishonor on our ancestors if we can't figure out how to put together this clock. We have a lot. We okay. have a lot of screws oh and bolts gosh. and springs. And this Let's get the hard one. Yeah. That's Let's challenge ourselves. Let's do the adult one, okay? Let's do, Let's the do one that. Then for grown ups. Okay, well I I think I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time. Zip ties, nylon strings. I'm gonna I'm gonna bells. just I'm just gonna pull out the pieces and spread them out a little bit okay. so that we can see what we are working with. And there was Show me what you're working with. There wasn't really a parts list. Oh wait, here we go. There's always a parts list. There's always a parts list. It, it's a diagram. It doesn't tell you how many... I guess it shows each piece. It doesn't say how many pieces there are. Okay. 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 Here we go. All right. All right. Well, I'm glad that I... Okay, let me just say for the record... There were I no tools. I don't see a tiny screwdriver, so perhaps we only get the one. We probably don't need it. We probably don't need it probably from what I'm seeing it. here. All right. Get to unwrapping. Okay. Home right. skillet. Yeah. Oh, hey, look. I found another tool. Oh! It matches the last tool that we got. That's exciting. 
Oh, goodness. Okay. Uh, it's slightly longer, Gretchen. Oh. oh. Let's say it again. Ooh. I don't think it matters. Yeah. All right. We got all these little. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, too. <laughs> Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. That is the most boring Christmas movie. I don't know how people ever. can watch that movie every year. It's just... But I understand it's nostalgia for a lot of people. This bell, I instantly heard that little child. Yeah. Fuck, Mommy! Teacher says... <laughs> it sounds just, <laughs> just like that. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. So good! <laughs> I think it was a much better Teen Girl Squad reference. Than Do you guys anything. know Teen Girl Squad from Homestar Runner? The ugly Should one. Should check it out. Teen Girl Squad! Cheerleader! So and so! Watch your face! The ugly one! Yes. Home, HomestarRunner.com. Go check Home out. Homestar Runner. God. Okay. okay, let's get started. Give me a piece that looks like Before this. Before you start, there's a there's a instructions. Oh, dang it. Okay. Before, <laughs> Before you start, this project has a lot of bolts, washers, and other parts that look pretty similar. Sort them by size and shape now to make it easier to grab the right parts when you are building. We'll call out the ones to use in each step like this so they want it to go by size. Okay. We should probably do that then. Okay. And I'm stacking. Oh, this is doing wonders for my OCD. I bet it is. I'm loving this. I'm loving it. What is that? Is that McDonald's? McDonald's. <laughs> okay. Now then, step one. It doesn't really have a name, but I'm needing one of those parts right there. And then we're going to take two of these. Mm -hmm. Which ones are we taking? I think I think these middle tier yep. ones. Okay. We're gonna need... Next step. <laughs> Next, we're going to need one of these pieces, and then it looks like we screw these down now. We're going to need our little screwdriver. Bam! Oh, you got it. But you got a slot head. Will it fit? Dang. This is a uh, clock making 101. Clock making 101? Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. We're going to need... Next step. <laughs> oh, it was these holes. See? You're supposed to be following directions here, Gretchen. Me? Yeah, you were looking right at it. You were looking Was that right a at challenge? It. Yeah, I tested you and you failed. <laughs> well, I wish I could say that that was uh, the first time that's ever happened, but I failed. I have failed many times, so. But I keep getting up and I keep on going. You can't get rid of me. Okay. You want to you screw down? Yeah, I want. I want. Look, mom, I'm screwdriving. Screwdrivering. <laughs> screwdrivering. I'm gonna screwdriver this in. Now it gets interesting. We need this guy here, I think. No, no, it's this guy. Notice this guy has a notch in him um, that is not in that picture. I would have totally put This one does on. not have the notch. Okay. I'm doing like the total rock and roll symbol underneath here. Doing this? I'm doing the death metal underneath. The, the metal is keeping me with the ability to hold <laughs> Just <this>. stop. <laughs> I want to rock. What do you want to do with your life? I want to rock! Looks good. Okay. Looks good. Okay. I think I think that's... This looks like a Minecraft hammer. Oh, kind of? Yeah, almost like a pickaxe. I know what Minecraft is. I'm pretty cool with it. We used to play the mess out of that on our iPads. We oh, had, yeah. We had amazing villages. I did. I bought the ginger house village, so I bought. I made a, like an entire gingerbread village, but then I also bought the Halloween one, so I put like creepy crap in it too. It's pretty awesome. Okay, next. Next it. step. No. So I bet you this is another thing that you could probably take the time and paint. Okay. Yeah. Before you put it together, sure. but I'm kind of digging this. This might actually be like an object to art, art for the house. Um, it's a functional, it's a gravity clock. It clocks the gravities. The wood wheels you're about to add to the timer have delicate teeth. Be careful with them so the teeth don't chip or break. Okay. 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 They are beautiful though. Look at how nice. They're very well crafted. We have They're a laser lot of cut. A, you we can have tell. a lot of appreciation for the steampunk aesthetic mm -hmm. and these are beautiful. I am very excited to try these. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Okay. So now these three little pegs go in, in, in those holes. This is like going to um, Cracker Barrel. 
You ever sit? You ever play that little tee, the golf tee? I think it's meant for the kids to play with, but I usually play with it. Everybody plays that game. It's a fierce competition over who gets the extra biscuits. Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) fierce. I like how uh, they use the resealable bags on these. I will say that I want to give huge kudos to this company because they have always made the packaging very user friendly, like. Sometimes when you put things together, like a company that's known for those really brightly colored plastic blocks and that they they clamp together and they make really cool things and there's a whole store at Disney Springs with them, their plastic bags, I'm already pissed off before I even get the thing started. <laughs> so this is, this is one of the things I do want to say about this company is they make it very like user-friendly to open up. So there's that one. This plastic piece is called the pinion. Oh, it's the pin. We've installed the pinion. We have installed the pinion. Okay. So now it comes back to hold on to that. Okay. And then we're going to come back to our piece that we assembled already. Okay. Now it looks like. Looks like it goes this side yep, up. That side up. And, and it's going to it go. And it feeds on, right into here. Right. Okay. I was stick. I have, a, I have a habit since I was a kid of sticking my tongue out whenever I concentrate you on do, things. You do, folks. It's the cutest thing in the whole wide <laughs> world. Sometimes okay. when he's like playing games. Oh, I do it all the time. I sneak I sneak out just to watch him. You ever do that thing where, especially if you eat spicy food and you start licking your lips a lot, they get sore? Mm-hmm. Like, you like know they make raw? a product for that. It's called chaps. I know. I, I, my lips get raw sometimes from licking my lips so much from playing video games. You're trying to be like LL Cool J? Because you're not. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I All need right. some palate cleanser. <laughs> okay. All right. You want me to hold it while you get palate cleanser? Yes. This is taking thirsty work. <laughs> oh, now we get to use some nylon string. Your favorite. Oh, yay! So you see how it it shows. You're gonna have to make a specific knot. I'm gonna let you do you that. You let me do it. Last time I did it, I don't. We had to cut like 20 minutes of footage out. We did. Out. There was a lot because of I nylon tying those strings. I said a lot of French words. <laughs> That's why that was cut so so. This episode, string string string. <laughs> the the last the last box we did had to be edited so heavily because I spoke so much French. I had a beret on by the time it was uh, done. That's funny. <laughs> I was like, Monsieur, <laughs> let's go get some croissants. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can do this properly. Okay. Like this, and then. Do you need my help? Do you need a? Hand? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Here we go. Okay, then this way. Pull tight. Is that it? No. No, that's not it. That's what not is that? It. Okay, so we're going to. Okay. Can it though? I don't know if I did this right. I... No, nope, we got it. We okay. got. It. Watch this. Watch this. Okay. <laughs> go around the front. Mm-hmm. Then back. Go around. around the back. I did something. Oh snap! No, we did do it wrong. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Gonna go back, mm-hmm. behind. I am Groot. Okay. All right. Now this piece, we leave a loop. I am Groot. Goes under, then back through. I am Groot. And then it doesn't tie. No! <laughs> All right, hold on. Okay. Try do, me, again. do me a favor, hold it, hold that. Okay. Okay. Oh, that looks like the picture, maybe. And then pull tight. There we go. Mm. And then, yeah, hold on. Okay. And then see, it can be adjusted. Okay. There it is. You did it. Good job. Don't cut it yet. No, I'm not. These are... Mm, there we go. Okay. This is also called a pinion. Yeah, it's going to go through this way. There we go. Pull that through. You know, it's actually... I think the complication comes from it being fishing line. It's, it's a very slick it's, nylon material. It's also kind of stiff. So it's not like giving like a um, like a piece of string would be. Mm-hmm. So because we aren't fishermen, fisher people, fisher people, we um, we we we're not as skilled. There we go, nice and snug. Okay. 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 So now this goes on the big wheel. Okay, hold on. Big wheel, keep on turning, turning, grab me. So it oh. looks like the blank side is up. Okay, blank side. Blank side is up. up. Okay. And then I guess this. Do you want me to hold it while you screw it in? Okay. Tiny screw. I got it. And the tiny Phillips screwdriver. There you go. Is that a Phillips? That's a, that's a Phillips. This is a plus sign screwdriver. It's a Phillips screwdriver. Okay. 
you say so. It's a, just use the plus sign screwdriver. Thank you. That's, that's what I have, so that'll work. Okay. All right. I screwdrivered. Nice. Okay. Good job. Wow, we're moving along pretty swiftly. Moving right along. This is not like the ukulele Flip where it took you two hours to string up the free. frets. Well, it was difficult. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the climb was steep. Next do. step. <laughs> And wind even so this guy it's got to wind go. the cord clockwise. Mm -hmm. now, there's a lot of cord here too. Okay. This is just to keep the cord out of the way to build the rest of the timer. We are MacGyver over here. What is gonna? What are we building actually? I don't think we're actually building a clock. It's a time bomb. It's a time we're bomb. We're building some sort of heist thing. So we got to go back to your other main piece. Okay. And then, so then flip it upside down. We flip. And place it on this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Gather. Oh, the the teeth on that are going to match very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, this is doing something. Yeah. So it says. Ooh, it's going crazy. Calm down. It says if you spin this wheel gently, this one will spin faster. So there you go. So now we're finally moving on to the third prong here. Okay. Now this is page seventeen where it tells you about the ratios of the spinning and and everything like that. Why this one moves faster than this one. Okay. But we're going to move on to the building. Okay. On to part C, completely different part now. Okay. So we're going to Next it. step. So now we need that piece right there. This one that with one the right hole there. cut in it? Mm -hmm. Hold those in place while I grab this piece here and see how it, it that's, at this end it's uh, cut. Mm -hmm. So these two right here are going to line up with those. Hold on, are you in the right spot? Mm -hmm. Oh. I can't hold it. There we go. Is it? It keeps moving. I think you got the wrong screwdriver. In. <laughs> really? There's a there's. Are you are you telling me there's a difference? Ah, yeah. See, this is working much better. I can't do it. That one's kind of screwy. <laughs> no, no, no pun waka, intended. Waka waka waka. No pun intended. Let's try this one. You maybe it's the piece. Maybe it's the yeah. Maybe. It's Ooh. There we go. Wow. All right, mm -hmm. now that looks like the piece. Yep. Next step. This clock will never get made. It'll get made. It'll be okay. amazing. There, there we go. go. There we go. Woo! All right. Nice. So now it looks like the piece, right? Yep. Everything's nice and tight. This side goes together differently from part A. Well, obviously already, yes. Now we need the piece that has a slot and a bunch of numbers on it. This piece right that here. That has a slot and a bunch of numbers on there it. There you go, right? Mm -hmm. um, rubbing graphite along the top of the slot, graphite makes it slippier, slipperier. Now I gotta get a pencil? Did it, I'm surprised it didn't actually like give us a, a pencil. Um, to be fair, it's not common that we have pencils in this house. We have colored pencils, but those aren't really graphite. I got a pencil. I have a pencil. Okay. So sadly enough, this mechanical pencil was the only pencil we could find in the house. I was honestly hoping it would be like the Guardians of the Galaxy 2, where you kept bringing me back things that just weren't pencils. <laughs> One of them was like a severed toe. <laughs> oh but, man, now that I know, I should have totally done that. But um, yeah, that took some effort. So I think if you're just very gentle with it, you'll be able to get the graphite on there. So does this mean from That's now on? That's the second hand. From now on, when I want to use the clock, I got to rub it with graphite. I think you only have to do it the one time. Sorry, I can't tell you what time it is because because I don't have I any pencils. I haven't graphited my. Can, can you tell me what time it is? No, I'm sorry, I don't have a pencil in the house. <laughs> I can't. I can't get an accurate read on the doomsday clock because I didn't have a graphite pencil. <laughs> Oh. Whatever shall we do? Oh, gosh. <laughs> so it's going to go into this hole mm -hmm. right here. Correct. All right. Bolt, Bolt sticks, sticks up. up. Okay. Stop and, then... and check. The hammer arm should wiggle and slide, which it does. Um, this is called the hammer arm. <clears throat> there. And then one back here. There we go. That popped right into place. And see, that's what it looks like, right? Okay. Done. Done. Next step. Now comes the fun part already, aligning two sides of the body. Remember how much fun we had with that with the ukulele? Oh man, this is exciting. Yes. Okay. 
So these three bolts, I think, the, the, the brown ones that I just stuck in there, you're gonna flip this piece over and those three are gonna stick on these pegs. But so does it go below or above? It's gotta go. It looks like it's, this part is going above. No, I can't tell if this one's in or not. It is not. So, oh, and, and the long this bolt. bolt. Oh man, so this so bolt the, has to come up underneath the whole thing. Yep. Okay, so. Okay, hold on, I got it. You got it? Yep, let's okay. go. Okay, all right. Wow. So you probably wanna do this with a friend. Oh, definitely. There is that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it looks like another one goes here, maybe? Um, maybe on the next page. Uh, right up there. Okay. All right, that one wasn't so bad. That one, that one, and that's all it says that it needs right now. Oh, it's time for the... This is going to be creepy if we hear this in the middle of the night. Don't put that juju on us. I'm just saying, in, if I'm sleeping at 3 o'clock in the morning, I hear... I'm gonna call the exorcist. This way, it doesn't matter. Let me okay. show you. Show me. Good job. You put a string on a bell. I'm One proud. One of us got to figure it out. <laughs> okay. Oh, and so now it's got to wrap around. Another one of those plastic pieces, yes. So it goes this way. Oh, four times. You got four times out of it? It said three times. Yeah. So it was once, twice, three okay. times. Hey, all right. Okay. Wow. That's a very precise cut piece of rope. Okay. So oh, now that is going to go in that spot that you thought before. In this spot. There is a child running around. Yeah, there's a very time. loud child outside. Why aren't you inside reading comic books? Okay. Okay. So we're gonna next next, next step. step. So now uh, we're Add adding the feet. the feet. So now you're going to take one of those feet. guys. And we're going to take two of these guys. Wait, all right. So we got to have a bolt, a nut. That's a nut. And it is going to go in like this. Oh, that's weird. Isn't that the way it's showing? Yeah, right? flat sides into the flat sides slide into the slot mm -hmm. all right interesting that's, interesting that's a choice that's a fashion choice and then these two guys i think go on each side right okay oh they're kind of snug too oh hmm. Hmm. okay all right that's an and then we need a zip tie that's an interesting binder oh so the zip ties are going to slide through these tiny holes oh and now we need scissors from home too Dang it. Aw, snap. Well, fortunately, one thing we do actually have is a pair of scissors. So there you All go. Right, what so are, what are we doing? pull this in. Oh, we're cutting off the excess. Yeah. Bam. All right. That looks like a fine leg to me. Hey. Through the magic of television. This one looks like the picture. Good job. And now we have identical pair pictures. Yay. Okay, now add both bolts all the way in. Look, I'm bolting. All the way in. Now do we need, I, I actually. This is adjustable. Yeah, actually. This is exciting, I figured something out. Oh, so it's that adjustable we can feet? level it. Yeah. Gotcha. I don't think it goes in very far from me. I don't know, I think I got the wrong bolt. I don't know what I'm doing. Let me see. You, you got the right one. It's, sometimes they need a little bit of a push. Tools are hard. Yeah, that bolt's a little bit tight. You just need a little bit of. Oh, okay. A little bit of oomph. I should have rubbed my graphite pencil on it. <laughs> Yes. I got my pencil. <laughs> <laughs> we just heard that Van Halen Hot for Teacher song. It's my favorite line in the whole song is when when uh, Diamond Dave's like, I got my pencil. <laughs> then I proceeded uh, to walk around the house for a half an hour. She did. <laughs> so, all right. Okay. Looks like a sled. Yeah. Looks like the piece. Oh, I get it. So that way you can adjust it for its yeah stability nifty nifty when we screwdriver things we always line up the plus sign with the plus sign and then we just screwdriver it in i do know nice. lefty loosey righty tidy all right let's i got that going for me gently turn this guy over so that we can do the same thing over here okay 
Now this is the guy that was giving I us a little I have done bit. so much screwdrivering lately. Okay, now we get to stand it up, babe. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Oh my. Now, set the arm on the drive wheel pinion. Set the arm on the drive wheel pinion. Oh, I did that. Is that it? The big wheel is the drive wheel. This is the escape wheel. Okay. Whatever. You remember that? Because the escape wheel spins faster. I didn't know that was a thing. I missed it. <sighs> you ain't learning nothing. <laughs> this is education. I don't have retention skills sometimes. Okay. Blame it on the palate cleanser. Now is when we start dealing with the weight and the hook. Oh man, here's where we do the actual doomsdaying of the mm -hmm, doomsday clock. Mm -hmm, exactly. Because that's what we're building, right? The right. Doomsday clock. Yep. Have you guys watched the HBO show, the the Watchmen? The Watchmen. It's very good. We're halfway through it, but it's super intriguing. We're, we're building a doomsday yes. clock. They call it a gravity clock, but we're calling it a doomsday. So clock. now we have the middle, actually the last one of these that we have. Okay. Okay. Then we have the washers. All these washers. This is what's left. Um, 19 total, you'll have six left over. Okay. So you need, what, 13? I need to grab everything but six. <laughs> so these are gonna go on that. This reminds me of when I first started baking and we used like industrial scales that you had to have counterbalances for. Mm -hmm. And you would have to like adjust your counterbalances for your weight for things. This is what this makes me feel like. So now comes the part where that hooks up to this string. And there we go. Oh my oh. goodness. Holy moly. Okay, okay. Run the cord all the way out by dropping it off the edge of the table. <laughs> it literally says that. Dropping the weight off the edge of the table. Okay. Let's do it this way. How high do they think our tables are? Oh my gosh. It, it's already on the ground. So. Samara, is that you? Are you at the well? Oh my gosh. This is like 47 feet. That's the end of it right there. Okay. Okay, now we've got these two pieces. The pendulum. The pendulum. This is what makes your timer tick. Now then, that guy there requires, um, is it the last one of these? I guess, it, I guess it's this angry guy. It's this guy that does not cooperate. We're gonna have to use it. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's hope this tiny screw will make it worthwhile. Don't be a jerk, tiny screw. It's just turning. My finger is turning. This guy is a jerk. I don't know why this is acting. That's the little punk. I don't know. Rub your rub their pencil on it. I don't know. <laughs> isn't that? It's like, isn't, isn't that? I guess that's how they lube it's things. Like, put with some the, Windex on it. Rub your pencil you know, on it. You're joking. You're joking, but I'm gonna. There you go. Put a little put a little pencil on it. It'll be all right. I got my pencil. I don't know. This this one little stupid thing is being. They should really always send at least one extra piece. I I know it cuts cost and stuff, but I don't know. I think an extra piece would be good. Okay. Um, concept I never really thought of <laughs> using before is rubbing a pencil on things to get the gears moving. But okay, I'm not gonna argue with that. Okay, okay. All right. Push apart. Uh, the two tiny washers, the two tiny washers. And then this guy is gonna kinda latch on like this, like such. Okay, okay, so I'll push this over, hold the drive wheel so it doesn't spin. Uh, squeeze toward your thumb to separate from the escape wheel. Uh, tilt so it doesn't hit the drive wheel Keep holding that, okay? Mm -hmm. The pendulum is disengaged. Now the wheels can spin freely. Okay. Okay. Um, and now you, now we wind that back up. That's going this way, right? Mm -hmm. But we have to keep it tight, so. Go you ahead. Got it? Yep. Because we have slack, because we don't have a big enough table, I suppose. Apparently our table's not 20 feet off of the ground, so. Next up is the calibration. Can I let this thing go? Um, go ahead and let this guy go. And then go ahead and let the drive wheel go. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 
Before you start calibrating, check out the timers, how the timer parts work. Uh, you got the weight, which is the gravity. You know, uh, gravity pulls this down, powering the timer. You've got the drive wheel, which is the big piece. The escape wheel, the small piece. The pendulum, the hammer arm, uh, the bell, and then the feet. Okay. Okay. So now it's doing now it's doing a countdown, and eventually it's going to get to the point where we timed it out to where this wheel is going to kick this out after um, a minute and then ding the bell. Okay. All right. Um, it takes a little tweaking and adjusting when you when you put it together. It, it probably takes a few tries. I kind of recommend that you whatever surface you want it to be on is the one you adjusted for that surface and then it's there. Yeah, because we actually adjusted it and then we turned it. And this and table is not flush. Obviously this table is not level because we had to readjust it again. So um, that's that's a learning lesson for you. So it's like when you adjust it, make sure it's where it's going to be, you know. But uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see this thing ring its bell. You can ring my bell, ring my bell. All right, copyright strike. You gotta stop right there. That's it. That's it. I see it. I see it starting to wobble. Wobble. And okay. Tilt. Oh, here oh. goes. Yay! Oh! We did it. Biscuits are done. High five. Yay! We made a timer. We made a timer. And it's gonna keep going. It's a doomsday timer of gravity. Very cool. That's fun. All right. I Man, get it. this, you know, for some reason, I mean, granted, you're making a, a literal clock or a timer, uh, was more complicated than the uh, ukulele. This was, I think it's because we had a general idea of how a ukulele worked. I think so. We didn't know nothing about time. And the counterbalances, like balance weights here, it weights does, here. It takes a little tweaking weights and up adjusting. Here. Um, they suggest you bring your phone out and use it to like calibrate it. So it takes a little bit of time, but it's a cool piece, and I definitely would totally use that. You I know? dig it. It can run for a maximum of two and a half hours. Oh wow! Uh, the time spent designing this was three. Or I'm sorry, thirty-one thousand two hundred minutes. That's a lot of minutes. My goodness. Did they time it on a gravity timer? <laughs> that would be amazing, right? Um, coworkers started startled by the bell. Four. Four. That's great. Nice. That's great. Whoa. Well, look at us, this thing. Look at this. Let us know in the comments below if you'd like to build your own gravity clock. This Once again, you know, cool. we didn't mention before, Eureka, uh, the Eureka box comes from Kiwi Co. Kiwi Co. Um, and they have... They have crates for it's a all fun monthly crates. All levels, all age levels. These uh, are really levels. fun quarantine projects. Absolutely. You know, I mean, it took us took us a little time. We edited, but it took us took us a little time to put this together. But yeah. honestly, I think it looks really cool, and I will totally have this in my home. Like, this is a nice piece. I like I dig it. it. I dig yeah. it. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below what you think of our clock. Do you think it would work as a really good timer for my cookies? It wants to keep going. It wants to keep going. You can't you can't kill it you once can't it's stop alive. Time. That's right. You can't stop the time. You can't be like share and turn back the time. <laughs> no, this is really cool. Thank you for joining us. Um, thanks for watching us do this. Where we really had a good time with this one. Yeah. Um, so what's upcoming new, Tim? Um, We're going to be going to the parks again. That's right. That's yes. right. We, I know we mentioned it before. The parks are coming up. But in the meantime, we'll be we'll continue trying to bring you stuff weekly. Yeah. You know? I mean, we're going to go back to the parks. So we're going to do more park videos. But if you'd like to see more of, like, these kinds of videos, let us know in the comments below. If you want to see more of, like, Tim and Gretchen at home in addition to our park videos. You know, we're asking our friends because our friends like to tell us what's up and yeah. they never are shy about being honest. So that's true. Let us know. Let us know in the comments below if you'd like to see more like at home projects in addition to going to the parks or you're just like get out of the house and do something. Right. Either way, we're totally cool with it, but we'll still probably do whatever we want to anyway. So, um, but anyway, give us a thumbs up. This is really awesome. Be sure to subscribe to our page and make sure you share it with a friend because you'd be like, watch this train wreck. These people are <laughs> these people are nuts, man. <laughs> so All right. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for joining us. We'll Bye. see you next time. Bye.
You guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider hitting that thumbs up below. And if you want to hang out with us, hit that subscribe button. Be sure to ring that notification bell so you don't miss a video. But our latest video is right here. And the video that we picked specifically for you to watch is right here. Enjoy.